Hello, sixth grade. Here is your final vocabulary unit article. This one is called National Ski Patrol to the Rescue. It is for unit 11 in the blue vocabulary book. Avalanche! Without warning, it happens. A mountainside of loose snow suddenly slides down a slope toward a downhill skier. As the skier looks up in horror, he loses his footing. It is as if a carpet has suddenly been pulled out from under his feet. Tons of snow knock him over and drag him down the hillside. In seconds, the skier is buried. At first, he is angry with himself for not staying with his group and for getting himself into such a dangerous situation. Muttering tart comments about his bad luck, he tries to dig his way to the surface. He is too deeply buried for that, though. Instead, he decides to stay still and conserve the oxygen in the air pockets around him. Absurd as it sounds, the skier nestles into the snow, hoping that the other members of his ski party will have seen the avalanche and notice that he is missing. Fortunately, the buried skier is wearing a beacon. This electronic device sends out a regular signal to help rescuers locate him. There is no realistic way to avoid all the dangers of winter in the backcountry. Devices like beacons, however, reduce a skier's risk in the wilderness. The skier's companions have seen the avalanche and realize that their partner is missing. As they race closer, they call in an urgent plea for help. Fortunately, members of the National Ski Patrol, NSP, are in the area. On snowmobiles, they navigate across the rugged landscape toward the disaster site. The National Ski Patrol is the largest winter rescue organization in the world. Since 1938, NSP volunteers have searched for and rescued thousands of skiers and hikers. The organization provides a sense of security for people who use the slopes. The guiding principle of the National Ski Patrol is to promote safe skiing and winter sports. The National Ski Patrol classifies the country into different geographic regions. Volunteers patrol the ski slopes and wilderness ski areas in the region where they live. When choosing its volunteers, the organization is very selective. In addition to being in excellent physical shape, members must complete advanced training in outdoor emergency care. In areas where avalanches tend to occur, members receive special avalanche training, too. These steps help to ensure the success of rescue efforts. <laughs> Thanks to their high level of preparation, the NSP rescuers are able to help the skier buried by the avalanche. Immediately after, arriving on the scene, they turn their own beacons to receive. That lets them hear the signal from the skier's beacon. The rescuers also spot the ski mitten that the skier lost in the avalanche. That's another clue to his whereabouts. The rescuers have identified the general area where the skier must be. Now they carefully probe the most likely areas with long aluminum poles. Methodically, they cover the area, probing every foot or so. Suddenly, they hear a muffled cry. <coughs> Fortunately, the snow is light and fluffy. It contains a lot of air. That lets the rescuers move it away quickly to reach the skier. More important, the buried man had enough air to breathe. Soon, a helicopter arrives to transport the skier to a hospital. It was a close call, but thanks to the National Ski Patrol, there was a happy ending.